Hi, my name's Nicola. I live in Derbyshire. I'm a home sewer and I'm just doing this video because I wanted to share some of my uh, plans for Twinwood. Twinwood, if you don't really know about it, is a uh, festival held in Bedford in the UK. Um, it's four days of music dance, shopping and general hilarity and shenanigans. It's a great festival um, and it's massive. Uh, this year is after Covid, it was on last year but it was a little subdued um, but this year it's, it's looking like it's going to be back to sort of full capacity and everything you know is going to be happening this year. We've got Miss and Mr. Vintage, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, but about this time of year, and I'm always late to the party, I'll start planning my outfits. Uh, a lot of ladies on Instagram, um, if you go and have a look, they've already started putting together their outfits, their vintage outfits, or their makes for Twinwood. Um, as I say, I'm just putting together some, some outfits for Twinwood, and I just thought I'd share them. Um, the first thing I want to make is um, an evening dress because um, in the evening uh, there's lots going on and it goes on till sort of 2 a.m. Um, all different genres, it's just amazing. Um, but I just thought this year I'm going to go the whole hog. Um, I've got this fabulous little uh, original vintage. Um, early 40s or maybe even late 30s um, jacket it's like an evening jacket but I'll show you here we go so excuse the mess on my bed can you see it so it's a beautiful coral color um, it's like a, a, a thickish crepe but there's all these pin pleats here, I don't know if you can see them, there, and this lovely detail at the neck as well, and then these beautiful little diamante buttons. So the plan is, well the plan was, I was looking through um, a book that I've got about the 1930s because that's my sort of era of choice. Sorry about the wobbly tripod then. And um, I tend to sort of gravitate towards the 1930s generally. Um, I got this book recently, it's a reprint. Um, it's the 1930s. I have also got the 1920s and the 1940s. <laughs> The 1930s is the one that I get most of my inspiration from. Um, um, when I first got it and uh, got to the evening dress part and I was really, really taken by these dresses. I'm going to put an image in here. Hopefully you can see that. So uh, they're floral, floor length. Um, and in particular, this one that had the sort of the pink capelet or even like a sleeve detail, I don't know really. Um, it's got the belt as well. Uh, and I thought, ah, oh, that little jacket, because I've, I've not got anything to go with it. That would look really sweet over a floral evening dress. So it's taken me a while to source fabrics. I've had swatches and everything. I think I finally decided, oh, you can probably see a peak of it behind me there. But I've gone with this fabric. At first I thought, shall I do um, like a colour block, so like um, the floor at the top and then a, a navy, because I love coral and navy together, a navy long skirt. So I sort of sewed on a bit of navy, a bit of navy there to see, and I thought, oh yeah, that works. But I have not been able to find a spot on navy fabric that I like and I thought no the original picture was full floral let's go for it 
So I have. So I've ordered the fabric. It's all washed, it's all pressed, um, and it's ready to go. And I obviously was looking for um, a pattern that I like, or sort of take two patterns and Franken pattern them. Um, and I do generally wear short sleeves, long sleeves, sort of for, no, I don't do three quarters. Um, sorry I'm going off track but when I was growing up because I've always been really tall and um, a lot of my clothes didn't fit me in the arms and the legs so a lot of the sleeves are like three quarters so <laughs> because my arms are quite long so um, the three quarters always make me feel really uncomfortable so I tend to go long, short or um, sleeveless when I'm at home. I've you know, I looked at different short sleeve versions, but I thought, no, it's sleeveless because at Twinwood, fingers crossed, um, if it's hot, it's hot. It's August, it's the end of August, and it's the August Bank holiday weekend, and sometimes we have like a mini heat wave. I mean, some sometimes it's, it's poured down with rain, but um, yeah, I'm hoping this year we're going to have a, a bit of a, a warm one. So I thought, no, sleeveless, it'll be great, it'll be like a balmy evening, um, in my head. Um, that little jacket will be just fine, I won't get hot, I won't get sweaty, um, it'll be great. So, I'm being brave, and I'm going sleeveless. So, it's sort of going to be a bit like this one. Hopefully you can see that picture. And the pattern I'm using, I wanted a cowl neck, because I'm like, cowl neck and I've sort of hung fabric uh, I've hung that fabric underneath that jacket with a little cowl um, just on the mannequin to see what it looks like it looks really nice so I'm going with the now and then melody dress collection um, I have tinkered with this before and I know that the cowl's really easy to do and it's a pretty straightforward pattern um, and I'm going with option D up here again but with the option A skirt length so it's going to be a long long skirt um, I really like one of the images that in particular picture C she's got some dress clips and she's she's put them on the cowl and sort of made the, the collar a little bit square so there's like loads of opportunity to play around with um, the neckline as well going forward and um, not that I'm likely to find coral coloured um, dress clips but you know always hoping it's vintages um, you come across it it takes years to get a wardrobe together so you sort of come across it and in my case because of my height um, I find it really difficult to get true vintage although I have got a fair bit of true vintage I'm just very lucky and I'm able to sew um, and also uh, a lot of the fabric I try and get is either second hand um, or it's recycled from another outfit or occasionally and that's very occasionally a little bit of vintage uh, but I will be honest this fabric I got off Minerva um, and I'm, I'm not advertising Minerva by the way um, yeah I brought it from Minerva and um, yeah it is taking me ages to find the right colour so I'm going to suck that one up, sorry if it offends anybody. So that is the plan, get the dress done, hopefully I'll get that done this week, patterns cut out, um, I don't want to show you any um, sewing videos because I'm not a professional sewer, I'm just a home sewer and I don't know if that would be of any interest, um, I might do the odd one but yeah don't expect a lot because I'm not going to do techniques because I don't think I'm proficient enough to show people how to sew. Um, I teach my grandkids but that's it. Um, I just do it because I love it and I enjoy sewing um, and I love watching a YouTube has been an absolute inspiration to me. I've picked up so much from from YouTube watching other sewers on YouTube, um, you know professional sewers. Um, 
so it, it's been very inspiring. You might have noticed in the back I've got this jacket. This this was a, a make as well, but I'm not happy with the bottom of it, so I'm going to change the shape of the bottom of the jacket. Um, it's a lined jacket. I'm quite proud of it, um, but it's not it's not finished yet. So um, I'm going to just change the bottom of it. It's quite simple. It's got a bit of a snazzy collar on it, a bit of a wide collar that was a bit of a Franklin sort of garment. Uh, that one just. Um, long sleeves um, in a lovely navy blue suiting that I had in my stash. Uh, I made a, because it was tight with fabric, I made a skirt to go with it which is lined as well so I'm rather chuffed about that make. And that long belt hanging off it is from a blouse. Again this is a bit of fabric that I've had in my stash for so long. Um, bear with me, I'll get the blouse. <laughs> So you can sort of see the fabric, uh, I can't remember where I got this from, I think again it was a, a bit of second hand fabric, but it's a little short sleeve, 1930s style, it's got those lovely pleated sleeves, um, and it started off, the inspiration was a hat, um, but I can show that to you later, and uh, yeah. It's just got to be hemmed now, so um, nice little blouse, a little belt, another outfit. Uh, it's not completely finished because um, I need the bottom half to go with it. And the colours in this blouse, incidentally, if you can see the teal orange and that sort of beige colour, uh, but more mushroomy, I suppose, mushroomy colour there. Um, is that? It's a really lovely 1930s original hat and it's got a little feather in it and it's got like the teal and the orange in it and then the hat is like a mushroom colour but it's got like a dark brown sort of stitching detail on it. So um, yeah, the, the, the fabric gods were kind to me, they found me a fabric that had lots of the um, colours from the hat. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on and um, yeah, thanks for watching if anyone's watching. and. Uh, I'm going to crack on and hopefully you'll be able to see the finished garment next week.